prosthetics are being engineered to look, move, and feel more natural, like this. The future of prosthetics is bionic limbs that mimic and one day go beyond biological function. Around 2 million limb amputees in the U.S. alone rely on prosthetics of some kind to reproduce the limb functions they've lost. Numerous amputees now also turn to bionic options to help them with their day-to-day -day tasks. So what makes bionic limbs different from ordinary prosthetics? To put it simply, it's how they're controlled. Bionic limbs are externally powered and controlled through electric signals from the muscles or nerves above the level of amputation. Bionic limb prosthetics like the Hero Arm use special sensors to detect the smallest muscle, nerve, and electrical activity in the remaining limb and use microprocessors to convert these into intuitive and proportional bionic hand movements. Prosthetic technology has come far in the last several decades when it comes to how to control the limb. But what about touch? Our sense of touch is very important to our everyday lives. It helps us identify objects without looking and tells us how much pressure to apply in order to pick it up. But amputees with prosthetic limbs don't get this sensory feedback about what they're touching. So now some bionic limbs offer a sense of touch as well. Researchers have been able to partially endow amputees with the sense of touch on their bionic hands. This was done by using electrodes to feed precise electrical stimulation to their arms at the point of amputation. One amputee reported that they could feel their bionic hand and sense the position of its fingers. Other amputees were able to distinguish hard and soft objects in their bionic hands. Then there's phantom limb syndrome, a phenomenon that 80 to 100% of amputees experience. It's when they can still imagine and vividly feel their limb even though it's not there. This occurs because the region of the brain that represents the limb is still functioning and sending signals. The phenomenon can also be used to develop prosthetics. This is the e-dermis. It's a flexible sensor that mimics the ability of the human skin to sense touch and even pain. The device electrically stimulates the peripheral nerves in the user's arm and sends signals to the brain that brings the phantom limb to life. The e-dermis can help amputees visualize the presence of their limb to feel not just one or two fingers, but potentially the whole hand. While this is undoubtedly excellent progress, many amputees still use simpler prosthetics, like the prehensor, a more basic form of a prosthetic limb that includes hooks and mechanical hands. There are a few reasons why. The first and most basic barrier to access for bionic limbs is cost. Although a number of organizations are using 3D printing and open source technology to bring the price down, most bionic arms cost tens of thousands of dollars, with many insurance policies not covering such an expense. The second thing holding back the wider adoption of bionic arms is their overall usability. Most bionic arms on the market now regardless of where they fall on the price spectrum, are heavy, can suffer from reliability issues, and come with some input latency. There have been significant advancements in allowing users to control their bionic limbs using the same nerve impulses that control their organic limbs, but the degree of responsiveness isn't always there. Although advanced devices like the modular prosthetic limb with its 100 sensors and 26 independently controlled joints are getting closer, simpler and cheaper devices can glitch and lack functionality. The Esper arm hopes to curb this issue, utilizing the power of machine learning to grant users better control of their prosthetics over time. It uses prediction algorithms to eliminate much of the latency that can plague bionic arms. Another major issue for many amputees is pain from where the device is attached to the limb, often using suction. To get around this, some prosthetics can now be implanted through a process called osseointegration, in which they are surgically attached to the bone. Despite the limitations, researchers are working to expand the range and function of prosthetic devices. 
The future of prosthetic technology is filled with possibilities. Bionics can help people reimagine what isn't there, transcend physical barriers, and be able to gain movement and feeling.